Hey guys, so, uh, as you know, the title of this video, it, anyways, wait, wait, yeah, there we go, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to change the S FOV, I put angles in the thumbnail, I don't know why, okay, so I have 180p, and my frames per second is 60, I have 59%, you don't have to worry about that, anyways, um, so I changed it to linear because I don't like, um, what, there's a lot, there's, there's super view, which is, really big you can see a dog in it oh hello hello you're so cute okay then we also have wide which is um you could put 4k is wide yeah see you can put 4k but you can't have 60 frames per second so you sort of have to change that oh uh but i just put 180p sorry for the airplane mode i mean airplane sound Let's let that go. Okay. So next we have medium. Which is sort of small. Because if I put my, like, my finger in it, it's sort of small. And yeah, like I can see more. Okay, and then we... So my favorite is linear. Because like, you know, if you're a vlogger, then this is good. I mean, if you don't have any other cameras. Then yeah. Okay, and then we have narrow, which is really small. Like, it's so small. Like, you get like... If I put, okay, I'm gonna have it right here. Okay, then I'm gonna change it. See, it gets bigger. Then we do medium, which gets a little bigger. Then we have wide, which gets bigger. Then, see, you can even see him in it. Then we have super view, which is so big. Like, you could even see him in it. Like, and he's not that far, guys. So, yeah. But, and then I'll also show you guys. How to check your s recordings. But, that I think that'll be in another video. But I'll show you how good the recording is. In, oh yeah, also guys, I want to show you guys how to, like, do a DIY, I guess, macro lens. Here, so I actually have it on my phone right I mean my camera right now. So let me take it off. Okay, so that's how my camera really is. But, okay, so, now... If I put it on, it looks pretty nice because uh, if you don't know what a macro lens is, it's sort of like it blurs everything except what's in front. So like if I put my fingers here, if I if I put this camera, look at that. You can see all this, the blurriness, like even if I'm moving behind it. It's really cool. So but we're going to show how to do it on a GoPro. Yeah, so, okay, so you want, so what we're using is like a magnifying glass, which is pretty darn cool. It's good. Okay, so. We're gonna put it on it on the GoPro 5 um, or the GoPro itself. We're just gonna hold it because like we're not gonna you know glue it on or anything. So okay, so you put it on. That's how it looks right now. So Wait, so we're gonna switch camera. to the GoPro? Yeah, we're gonna switch to GoPro. Ready? Shake it, shake it. Okay, we're on the GoPro now, guys. And as you can see. It works pretty well. Look at this. Look at this. Right. Look how focused it is. And then look at look at this. Now, so we just gotta clean it a little. I mean, I did clean it, <laughs> but I had to use the microfiber cleaner. I mean, it, okay, the GoPro doesn't have a lens to focus. So if you ever wanted to blur stuff behind, you can just go like this. That'd be a cute montage, guys. Okay, guys. Now. Oh. Wow. Wow, guys. And that's how you, uh, use a GoPro. Here, let me put the lens on because it just looks better. Like, honestly, this lens makes it pretty good. See that? See how cool that is? And then look, when you take it off, look how ugly it is. I mean, it's not that ugly, but like, it's, eh. Yeah. I just think it looks better. Especially pictures, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.